everyone, it's Tuesday, but we're doing things a little bit differently today because I'm starting in my room and not in my car. We are gonna go out today, but it's not gonna be the traditional Blu-ray trip. I am gonna go in Best Buy just to see what's new, to showcase anything, possibly pick up something that I've been waiting for and waiting on. So I am gonna stop at Best Buy, but today's main focus is a Blu-ray spring clean out because today is March 1st. Spring is right around the corner and we always do a little bit of spring cleaning. So why not clear out the Blu-ray collection? I've been talking about this for a little bit. And last night I took out a lot of movies and I mean a lot of movies. Wait until I show you. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the collection that I'm getting rid of. It's a lot of duplicates and also movies that I've upgraded to 4K so I don't need the Blu-ray anymore. And also, I'm just not interested in watching these movies again. They were really one-time watches and that's it. So I'm gonna go off to FYE and trade these movies in. I've never done it before, so that's gonna be a new experience. And see how much money I can get for these Blu-rays because I really am curious. And then of course, while I'm at FYE, I will poke around and see if I can find anything. So that is the plan for today. So really quickly, I'm going to show you what movies I am getting rid of. And then we are off to Best Buy. All right, guys. So here is the pile of movies that I am getting rid of. Look at that. That is a lot. That is really a chunk of my collection right there. I haven't officially counted how many is here. But that is a decent amount, so I am going to count. But like Valentine's Day, this is a double. I have it in a four-pack, so I don't need this. I have the, the Steel Book of Vertigo. I no longer need that. Phantom, I got a Goodwill. I'm getting rid of a lot of the Goodwill and like pawn shop ones because I don't know. I just, I hate to w use the word I feel grimy buying them, but like I prefer brand new. So I'm getting rid of a lot of like the used ones that I have and I've like never even seen. I have the steelbook for the Punisher. I don't need that anymore. I have like four copies of Willy Wonka. I don't need the Blu-ray anymore. I have the steelbook for the Wolf of Wall Street. So I don't need the Blu-ray. This one I absolutely hated. So I don't want. I have the steelbook for Speed. So I'm going to get rid of that. I did not enjoy this movie at all. So that's going. You know the reason why this one's going. I'm sorry. This one was a one-time watch. I was like, eh, okay with it. I saw it once. I don't need to see it again. You know my feelings about Trick. That's got to go. This was Goodwill. Yeah, sketchy, grimy. <laughs> Palms. I've seen it. I watched it in the theater, actually. Really wasn't the biggest fan, so that one can go. I am getting rid of the Polar Express because I hated this movie. I know I will never watch it again, so I'm not going to keep it. Seance is a one-time watch. Sentinel is a one-time watch. Science of the Lambs, I upgraded to the 4K, so I don't need the Blu-ray anymore. And I had two copies of 16 Candles, so we're getting rid of that one. Body Heat, this one's ripped, but also I got a brand new copy from Josh, so I no longer need that. Clockwork Orange is going because I upgraded to the 4K. I had two copies of T3, so one of them's got to go. I upgraded 4K to this one. Just got the Steelbook. That was a Goodwill or Pawn Shop. This one, I just got a steel book. Don't need that. Hated this movie. Just upgraded to 4K. Don't need that. I think we know the reason why this one is going. <laughs> why I bought this, I have no idea, but sorry, Bruce. You got to go. You got to go. Midnight movie was just dumb. That's got to go. I have the steel book for Hocus Pocus. I no longer need that. Same thing with Hitman's Bodyguard. Uh, one time watch for Invitation. Hated this movie. Absolutely hated it. Don't want it. Surprise, surprise. I am getting rid of the Kingsman 2 movie collection on 4K because I just recently picked up the box set. So I do not need this one anymore. Saving room. I am getting rid of a lot of great stuff. Um, La La Land Blu-ray just got the, the steelbook. Didn't really care for this movie. So that one's going to go. This one was really hard for me to do because it's Sam. However, I know I will probably never watch this movie again. So therefore, it's got to go. Even though I love Sam Rockwell, I did not really care for this movie. I found it kind of confusing. And I'm just going to sacrifice. That's really, that's growth right there. That is growth for me. That I'm going to get rid of something, even though I love Sam. Getting this run, uh, getting rid of this one on Misery uh, because I upgraded to the 4K. So I no longer need the Blu-ray. This DVD, and I got the 4K, so I no longer need that one. 
Jackie Brown, same thing I have on Blu-ray and rumor is 4K is coming. So if that happens, I'm going to upgrade again. I have two copies of Lincoln, so I'm keeping the one with the slip, getting rid of this one. Underworld, I have the five movie collection and I also have a 4K, so I no longer need this one. This was Goodwill. That was Goodwill. This was Goodwill. I'm sorry. I know you're probably dying that I'm getting rid of these. Uh, this was Goodwill as well. I just upgraded to 4K, so I don't need that. I just don't want this one. I've got the 4K now. I hated this movie. Even though it is a shark movie, I know I will never watch this again because it was so crappy. This one I hated. Stupid ass movie. This one I was underwhelmed by. I thought it was going to be a little bit different. I know I'll never watch it again, so I'm going to get rid of that. The Birthday Cake. You know how I feel about this movie. I hated this one too. Bohemian Rhapsody because I upgraded to 4K. Bushwick was a one-time watch. It was okay. The Family, same thing. I wasn't really thrilled with this. It wasn't anything special. I thought it was going to be way better and it was like, nah, kind of let me down. Every Breath You Take, one-time watch. I don't really need to watch it again. Escape Plan, I do have the three movie packs, so I don't need the first one. I hated this one. Fatal Attraction because I upgraded to the Paramount Presents, so I no longer need that one. And these two, you know, I absolutely hated. Funny People and The Gambler. So those are going. So those are all the movies that I'm getting rid of. I need to count them now. But let's head on out. And our first stop is going to be Best Buy. Time to go see if there's anything interesting in Best Buy. Super quick trip. In the new release set Best Buy, we still got a lot of the Eternals. We still have a couple of Steelbooks, as well as Catwoman Hunted. So the Blu-ray right now I featured in Discount Blu-rays yesterday for $15.99 on Amazon. So if you are interested in this title, go over to Blu-ray.com to Amazon and pick it up. It's way cheaper still have everything. Everything is in stock. I will say that's, that is a positive good thing. Still have the Hurt Locker, American Underdog, Last Night in Soho on Blu-ray, Juice is back in stock on 4K, still got Requiem for a Dream, all the other titles that have been here. They're just not going anywhere. They're not selling. So let's go see what's on the other side really quick. We still have Ghostbusters Afterlife. They restocked with that because that was pretty much gone last week. Resident Evil, Welcome to Raccoon City, Cry Macho, F9 Blu-ray is $16.99, Halloween Kills, French Dispatch, we got some more No Time to Die. Not really seeing anything new that I am interested in, so let's go on to the back and see if there's anything over there. So in the back with the new releases, we still have more Eternal Steelbooks, three more. Wow, five total. No one wants it. <laughs> I am surprised they still have an alligator. Was I the only one to buy alligator last week? I think I was because there was only two and there's one left. I am debating about picking up King Richard. I did want the 4K, but it doesn't look like it's going down in price. And But it's $21.99. The thing is the slip cover because I do want a slip. And I'm not sure if the 4K will come with a slip cover, so maybe I will just pick up the Blu-ray because I do want that movie. I love biopics. We still got Apex. However, Apex is on sale for $12.99 currently right now on Amazon. So if you want Apex, go on over there. We still have copies of House of Gucci. Good thing I picked up the Kingsman box set because there's only one left. Apparently people really wanted that last week, so they picked it up. Still have Kingsman on Blu-ray. Let's see, what else can I find? What else can I find? They do still have Escape from LA. I'm thinking about picking up this one only because people were saying the audio isn't bad or there's nothing wrong with it. So I'm kind of thinking about picking it up now. It is only $19.99. What is this? Are you kidding? Now they have Looper with slipcovers? Oh. I'm irritated <laughs> because of course I opened mine already so I can't return it oh that really stinks they have one two three copies with slipcovers 
Oh, I'm so disappointed. I mean, I'm happy they have slips now, but I don't have one. So that really stinks. Let's see, what else? Anything else new? I'm not seeing Belfast, and that was a title that I was interested in. So maybe I will pop into a Target just to see if it's over there. But I think that is pretty much it here for Best Buy. So I'm going to make some decisions of what I want to do. And then I got to go turn in those movies at FYE. Best Buy did not have any brand new releases, no James Bond collection, Daniel Craig on 4K, and no Belfast. I am interested in getting Belfast, so I may swing by Target because I'm thinking Target will have that title. But before we go there, our main goal for today, I need to purge these movies. So next stop is FYE to see how this whole situation works because I've never done it before, but it's time to say goodbye to some of the Blu-ray family, unfortunately. So let's head on over to FYE. All right, so I'm here at the mall, about ready to go in those doors right there. And here's my Blu-ray babies. Oh, you guys are gonna have a brand new home. How exciting. So we're going on into FYE. All right, here we go, heading on into FYE. So I went into FYE and I spoke to one of the employees about the entire trade-in situation. I left my movies there for now. They're going to calculate how much they're going to be able to give me. But from the sound of it, I don't know. She said sometimes we only give a quarter per movie. I'm not really sure what I'm going to get. I am trading in 65 movies, so I'm not sure how much I'm going to get total. If I'm not satisfied with the price, I might just take all of my movies back and then sell them independently myself. So be on the lookout because if I decide to start selling them, you guys might want to pick these up in the future. So I will keep you guys updated about that. But for right now, they are in FYE. They're staying there overnight. <laughs> They're going to be staying there for a few nights. She said, I'm going to call you on Saturday, most likely to tell you about the price situation. So we'll see. I'm not sure right now, but anyway, let's wrap up this trip. Let's head on over to Target because I do want to see if I can grab Belfast if it's there. And if not, then I'm just going to head home because I do have some fan mail that I do need to unbox. So let's go to Target. Last stop of the day is the Target. We're going into Target. We're going into Target. As far as new releases go, there really isn't anything on the racks, period. They have one row that's completely empty, but they have releases from the past couple of weeks with The King's Man, the 355, House of Gucci, American Underdog, Eternals, and Ghostbusters Afterlife, and King Richard down there, but I'm not seeing Belfast. They do have No Time to Die, The Last Duel. Oh, they do have Catwoman Hunted on Blu-ray for $15.99, so if you did not want to go through Amazon, you could pick it up at Target for the same exact price. So that's good to know. Plenty of Halloween Kills and Sean chi Yeah, it's not looking good for Belfast. I might have to go somewhere else. Back at home, it's time for me to show you what I got when I went out today. And even though there was a lack of brand new releases out there, I still managed to bring home four titles, a very special surprise at Target, as well as some fan mail which i will be unboxing in just a second so really quickly you watch me drop off the movies at fye however i may just take back everything and sell them independently on my own because i may benefit more doing it that way because when i posted the picture of the movies i was going to get rid of on instagram you guys got really interested i got like five or six messages right away asking what i was selling so that may happen just make sure you're following me on instagram for any updates about the whole movie purge situation. I'm gonna to try to figure things out and, and get everything set up because I'm probably gonna go that route. So what did I end up getting today? Well, last time you saw me, I was wandering through Target trying to find Belfast. I asked an employee and he had it in the back for me. So they were in the back. They did not get around to putting them out yet, of course, which is usually the situation these days. So this one was a brand new release today. I wanted it. This is a total blind buy. I have not seen this movie yet, but I wanted it because it's been very prominent in award season this year, very much talked about. So I figure, you know me in award season, I love these kinds of movies. So I figure I would pick it up and I will give it a chance. It's got a very nice slip cover on it. So what did I get over in Best Buy? Well, I did end up getting King Richard 
on Blu-ray with the slipcover because I did initially want the 4K. However, the price still isn't going down. It's sticking around the $24 mark. I kind of wanted it to be a little bit lower, but it's kind of sticking there. Plus, I have the fear if I order it through Amazon, it's going to come with no slipcover. I do want to slip. So I figure with the Blu-ray, I know I'm getting a slipcover and it's a little bit cheaper. It's a win-win. And the reason why I wanted this one, award season plus you know me and my autobiographies. I just love them. Biopics are my thing. So I really wanted to pick this one up as well. And I waited a little bit on it. That's fine. It's always good to pick up the titles that you wait on in these really bleak weeks when there's really nothing coming out. So this was the moment for me to take advantage for King Richard. Next up is Escape from LA. Now I'm sure you're wondering why I picked up this title when last week I said I'm not going to pick it up you know, because of the whole sound issue I was hearing about. And this is the white UPC. It's not the yellow one. It's not the corrected one. But a couple of you in the comments were saying there's nothing wrong with it or it's not noticeable or something like that. So I figure I'm going to roll the dice with this and I'm going to give it a chance. The slipcover really sold me because it's in perfect condition and it just looks fantastic in person. It's really nice. So I did want to get it and it was only $20. So I'm hoping it works. <laughs> Pray for me that Escape from LA works and there's nothing wrong with it. And if there is, then I guess I'll just sign up for my replacement disc. That's all I can do. All right. So when I went to FYE, of course, I had to look around. I found one thing, just one, because I wasn't going to go, you know, batshit crazy and buy up the store like I usually do. I spent $4 on Killer Movie. I've, I think I've heard things about this. It does have Kaylee Cuoco from Big Bang Theory and also one of my dudes from The Vampire Diaries. So I figure I'll give it a chance. I always got to pick up something horror when I go to FYE and this was the one. So there we go. So that was nice and cheap today. So what is the special item that I found at Target? Well, last time I found the Riddler pop art series Funko Pop and this time I found... Catwoman, baby. Ooh, yes. I'm so excited. I'm going to keep her tilted like this because the ring light situation will just, you know, not be good. But yes, I love Catwoman. When I saw this, I saw it out of the corner of my eye as I was looking at the movies. And I was like, ooh, what's over there? So I went over and I found Catwoman. Super, super excited to add this one into the pop art series. I'm pretty much only collecting DC and Marvel pops from now on. If I even find them interesting that I want to get, the pop art series I'm interested in. So I definitely wanted to pick up this one. There we go. You see her a little bit better. So yes, this is my special surprise from Target. Very excited. So now what about the fan mail? Say the best for last. The fan mail. Here we go. I already pre-sliced it open so that way we're not messing around so let's see what we got in here we got whoop it's got it it's got a slip cover <laughs> i went to grab it Ooh, <laughs> i was not expecting this at first i thought it was a steel book by the way it was the way it felt from the outside but no it is scooby-doo where are you the complete series now i am not big into animation I think whoever sent this to me wants me to get into animation. So thank you so much to whoever sent this. Is there a note? Let me see if there's a note. I'm not seeing a note, but I think I know who this is from because Isaac messaged me on Instagram saying I was getting a package delivered today. So I think this is from Isaac. So Isaac, if this is from you, thank you so much. And if not, I will still be waiting your package. Okay, so whoever sent Scooby-Doo, thank you, thank you so much. So that is everything. That was my journey out today for my Tuesday trip. But let me know down below, what did you find when you went out today? Did you find something random? Did you go to a, I don't know, random store? Just something a little bit different? My trip was definitely different today. L tell me about your Tuesday. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you next time.